Hey guys, John with Tech Review 919. There's no problems, just situations. Today I'm going to be showing you a video that it's kind of fun. I had a dilemma today and I want to tell you all about it and how I fixed it right after this. No problems, just situations. Alright guys, let's get this started. Well, I had a dilemma today. I had some friends, some DST friends, playing Fortnite. If you didn't already know, you could play Fortnite across different platforms. Most of my friends on YouTube play on the uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield. I play on PS4. And you can play, as long as you have an Epic account, you play through the across the platforms so I can play them on online the only time I don't think it works and from my understanding is with the Xbox so you can have it on the computer you can have it on the Nvidia Shield on your phone uh, on your computer so today everybody was online playing real was playing live on YouTube and my family was watching movies on the TV that I had my PlayStation on yeah I could have could have removed the whole system upstairs to my bedroom but the way I have it hooked up it was more of a hassle than it was worth so I was like man what am I gonna do so what I do I downloaded it on my computer never done it before but I said let me see if it'll work next issue I had I don't have a game control for my computer I haven't been playing games on my computer for a long time so I said hmm let me use my ps4 controller and I'm about to show you how I did it so basically, and here's my channel. Uh, if you want to like, subscribe, please do so. Um, basically, you're going to need a program called DS4 Windows. And you go to ds4windows.com and it'll show you pretty much everything you need to do. First, you're going to have to download the zip file. I already done it, but I want to show you. You go here and you download the zip file. And then, of course, you extract it like you do any other zip file. Um, I've already done so, but what you do is you basically download the zip, extract the two programs, DS4 Windows and DS4 Updater. Um, and wherever you want to keep your documents, program files, etc. And then you're going to launch the DS4 Windows program. Um, and then basically the window will pop up showing install the driver you'll do so I've done this already so you won't see me do this if not go to settings click control drive setup if you have used a tool in the past you may need to uninstall the drivers and <clears throat> the drivers to the DS4 with Bluetooth and it's basically all it gives you all the instructions um, and it seemed kind of complicated at first, but it really isn't, especially if you follow these um, instructions. So basically, what you're going to do first, you're going to, what I did is I opened up my settings, you want to add a Bluetooth. And then what you're going to do, you're going to make sure your controller's on. You're going to hold the PS4 button and the, the share button. That's the one on the left, the little one. Um, yes, allow. Close. And oh, it already paired up. But probably because I already paired it up, I had removed it. But you basically hold them buttons and the light's going to flash immediately. It'll, it'll do a. Oh, there it goes. Um. Basically, it'll it'll do a fast flash. That means it's in pair mode. And of course, as you can see, it's connected. Um, it pretty much connects and works. All the buttons pretty much work. Um, but then I went into um, the program itself, which I thought I had open, but I don't. But it's DS4 Windows. Yeah, we'll open it up. So there, there's my controller. It should pop up once you sync. 
I want you to install all the drivers. Um, you can go into the control panel. You can go into settings, control panel, and it will bring up this window. You go to wireless. Some of the buttons will show up as Xbox control buttons, like, you know, PlayStation is X, Y, but um, it actually labels kind of like with 360, but it's not really that complicated. So you click properties, and you can hit the buttons and see that they're whether they're working or not. Which, for some reason, they're not. But um, they were working before. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I clicked on the wrong one. Uh, oh, yeah. That's the one. I did the wrong one. That's what it was. So you hit the X button, it'll show up as one. You hit, you hit the square button, it shows up as three. Triangle, four. Um, all these axis buttons work. The mouse, the, the big button on the PlayStation 4 works as a mouse, of course. If you didn't know that already, I'm using that right now instead of my mouse. Um, your up and down controllers. Uh, your top, these are your axis. And you have your different buttons. So, um, it don't appear that my circle button is working. So, this is going to work out good, so let's do this. It worked right off the last time, so what are you going to do? Go to the controllers, you click edit. And you're going to click the circle. I'm going to click the circle button, and it's going to bring this menu up. You see it's an Xbox controller. So I'm going to hit the circle button. And I believe I've clicked default. Let me try it again. There it is. It shows it. Now let's see if that um, worked. Seemed kind of minute, but I'm going to click say profile. I'm going to go to controllers again. Click edit. And da -da 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 -da. settings control panel. Let's try this again. And as you can see, my circle button is now working. It's number two. So everything pretty much works. The only thing that I found it, and I'm sure if I tweak it a little bit, is the is the mouse button, the big button. I forget what it's called, the action button, the one you can use as a mouse that I'm using as a mouse. This button right here, this big button right here. It don't pull up the map on Fortnite, but I'm sure it's just a matter of programming it correctly. But you can use your keyboard if you're using your computer, and click M. Um, but yeah. It, it's great. And then I download Fortnite. And it downloads, you make sure you have an Epic Game Launcher, and this is what comes up. Click Launch. And again, this is not something I do all the time, so it's like hit and miss. Um, I've just learned, I've just figured this out today. Um, it don't play as well on my, I don't have the best, you know, laptop for gaming or anything, so. It, it plays better on um, my PS4, of course. But what I did is I plugged an HDMI port into my TV to my computer, and I've got it on my big TV, and I can I can play it on my computer or I can play it on my TV. It's pretty cool. Uh, it takes a while. Fortnite, if you anything anybody's ever played it before, it takes a while to download. Um, I did download it. Um, so it's going to load up a little fast. This part loads up slow, too, you know, even on the PS4. Um, but this is a great way. you can. I, I play against the guys and girls at DSC team, and I'm hoping we're going to play some more. Everybody's starting to learn the game. I've played it for a few months. It's you basically got to play it a little while. To, you know, I didn't like it at first, but once you start playing it, it's a lot of fun. And it's even more fun when you're playing against your friends. I find, um, but that was my solution. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with this game. It's going to take a while to load up. Load up. Um, I'm not that great at it, but um, it's still a lot of fun, even if you're not good at it. But again, hopefully this you know, this was just a fun video. Hopefully someone can learn from it. If you haven't played Fortnite, you know, it's be, oh, you're too old. You're never too old to play video games. <laughs> it's, a, it's a stress reliever for me. So... Until next time, if you have any questions, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. 
If you have any questions, let me know. I do all kinds of stuff. I have a, I'm a jack of all trades, I think. So <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me an email if you need to. Until next time, have a good weekend. No problems, just situations.